photos of a Syrian refugee go viral, which sparked a crowdfunding campaign. They raised $71,000 for this father. Now, it all started with a tweet posted by the founder of Conflict News. His name is Jasur Simonarsen. So sorry if I mispronounced your name, which I'm sure I did. And what is great about this is he saw this man who's a Syrian refugee, and he was selling pens on the street, and he had his daughter asleep on his shoulder. So he... he, he he went ahead and he tweeted that photo out. It quickly went viral. People were wondering, who is this man? How can we help this man? And that's when um, Jasur and the power of the internet, they located him. Mm -hmm. Then this journalist, the founder of Conflict News, he then set up an account where people were able to donate money and also set up a Twitter account for the, the this man. And, and it's great because what we found out, according to an interview with BuzzFeed News, the man's name is Abdul. And Abdul left Syria four years ago, took his family to Egypt. Eventually, his wife insisted on moving back to Syria. She wanted mm -hmm. to go back there. She wanted to go back to his family. And he decided that he did not want to do that, but she said that she would, she would leave with the kids if he refused. So they go back, and he had no job waiting for him in Syria. So he was doing all that he could in order to get by. Thoughts? Five words or less. Crowd funding done right. Mm -hmm. Pay it forward, please. Mm -hmm. What a nice story. Oh. I just love this. I just do. Yeah. I love a feel-good story. Um, again, there's how many Syrian refugees, though? Mm -hmm. Nine million Syrian refugees. So a lot of people are saying, what about all the other Syrian refugees? But people tend to react when they see a very specific You're right. case. Yeah. There's another video that is out there for Syrian refugees. It's this montage, and it's all done. Essentially, it looks like it's done on a selfie stick looking at a girl. And it starts with a birthday celebration. Oh, yeah. And then clip by clip it devolves into her next birthday where she's like completely shell-shocked after you know having good times with her family then suddenly she's running wow. and then she's there's bombs going off behind her and the next time all this like innocence is completely gone from her face so this is this is really is real so no 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 it's, oh, a, this is it's a... a produced video okay. but it's one of those that's done really effectively right and the, you were saying like this is a real case the other one at least gets to be such an intimate portrait that even though it's produced, mm -hmm. it is very effective. And mm -hmm. it's in whatever way we need to do this so that people really understand that yeah. there are human beings on the other end of because this. Because people yeah. respond when you put a face to a mm -hmm. crisis. It humanizes the conflict. Mm -hmm. And so I think that that's why it was great. And crowdfunding a lot of times is for stupid people's web series and it's, you know, it doesn't matter. And this was something that matters. Right. I, I mean, yeah, there are yeah. a lot of good web series out there, but like yeah. this really I'm glad matters. That guy this got really his potato matters. Salad. <laughs> yeah, know, like, this is helping a family survive. Yeah, like this is, and so while this is good, there are also a lot of other organizations that could also use this sort of attention by maybe making videos or by putting a face to a crisis, so that people can humanize it, so that they can you know donate to these organizations that can then start helping the mm. nine million refugees. I think a lot of people were also noting that that's that's a lot of money for one family, mm -hmm. right? And if some people were like, "Is that fair or anything?" And I would just love to see of course I want this man to keep that money but I would love to see this man he, he mentioned he wants to open a chocolate shop yeah he said he wants right? to take the kids to Europe and hopefully open a, a chocolate shop well I would love to see that chocolate shop in some way help other refugees right Employing like maybe it, like yeah. part of the proceeds yes that, go to helping other other refugees. Mm -hmm. That, to me, would be awesome to just keep this story going, That's right? a full circle pay it forward. Yes, absolutely. As opposed to him just, like, moving, I'm going to Europe. And then yeah. That's it. So, yeah. Yeah. That's the power of social media nowadays. How fast. I mean, 71 grand and boom, one day. Life Amazing. Changed. Life changing. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so you guys, please keep the conversation going. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys next time on Pop Trigger.